Welcome back to The Real Rundown. My name is Ricky Wandike, and of course, this past week in sports, both the Stanley Cup and NBA Finals have concluded. And we'll go ahead and start off with the Stanley Cup Finals, where the St. Louis Blues knocked off the Boston Bruins in Boston in Game 7 to win their first ever Stanley Cup. I did do an IG Live last week where I spoke on both the NBA and Stanley Cup Finals, and I did say I believed that the Boston Bruins would win, but I was proven wrong, and the St. Louis Blues won. Their center, Ryan O'Reilly, won MVP of the Finals, and I will just say congrats to the St. Louis Blues. Definitely well deserved. And of course, we're going to move on to the NBA Finals, which just finished last night with the Toronto Raptors coming out on top in Game 6 over the Warriors in Oracle Arena. The whole game was close. It was great. It was exciting. But ultimately, the Raptors win. Kawhi Leonard, obviously your Finals MVP. Although, he didn't do this one alone. Kyle Lowry really stepped up. Definitely in Game 6. Started off really hot. Pascal Siakam did really well throughout the entire playoffs. Fred Van Vliet hit some pretty critical shots in the final moments of the game. The Warriors, yes, Yes, they dealt with injuries and we'll again to that in a second but ultimately it really seemed like they weren't playing as a cohesive unit as they normally have in the last two years that they did win the championship a couple first-time champions Jeremy Lin and Jody Meeks of the Toronto Raptors finally win a ring Marcus Gasol finally wins a ring Kyle Lowry finally wins a ring and Serge Ibaka finally wins a ring this is well deserved for Toronto because I definitely did not have them game past the Eastern Conference Finals I thought the Bucks would win once the Raptors made their way to the finals I did also continue to say that I believe the Warriors will win especially if KD's healthy but after game one I did change my tune and say you know what I think the Raptors can do this so congrats to them congrats to Kawhi Leonard two-time champion two-time finals MVP and now everyone's just going to be waiting on his decision now after winning the championship with this team yesterday does Kawhi Leonard leave honestly I do still believe he does only because he does still want to play in a bigger market if he does this for Toronto and then decides to go somewhere else like Los Angeles for the Clippers and win another championship or take them further than they've ever gone before he'd be pretty solidified in the GOAT conversation. As someone who grew up watching basketball in the, in the late 90s, early 2000s generation, my GOAT will always be Michael Jordan. Obviously, I didn't get to see him play too much in his prime, but I do see footage and I do hear what people have to say. And then right behind him is Kobe Bryant. We can debate about it all day. That's just my opinion. And now going back to the Warriors injuries, Kevin Durant ruptured his Achilles in game five and is very unfortunate. If you're watching the game, you heard the fans in Toronto cheering when he was on the floor. And obviously that's really messed up. Regardless of how you feel about KD, regardless of what he did by joining the Warriors, ruining the parody of the NBA. He's not just an athlete, although he is one of the best basketball players in the game today. He is a person. And for anyone to rupture their kids, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. That's crazy. And then worse than that, game six, Klay Thompson was going off until he came down awkwardly on a block by Danny Green and he tore his ACL in his left knee. Again, something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy, something that is really gonna hamper someone's life and career. Hopefully they can both come back strong. I just have my prayers up for them and also wish them nothing but the best. And this is very interesting because both KD and Klay Thompson are free agents this summer. KD was expected to leave the Warriors, but now with his injury, he could still opt into his player option, take the year to rehab, get paid if he really wants to. Or maybe a team will take a chance on him and let him rehab with them. So by the time the 2021 season comes around, he'll be ready to go. As well as Klay Thompson, he was expected to stay. And definitely this injury makes me believe that he will stay. We'll have to wait to see. NBA free agency is coming up in a couple weeks as well as the NBA draft very excited for all of that but if you like the video hit the like button if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel don't forget to share this on any social media you may have or however you can and as always I hope everyone has an amazing day until next time my name is Ricky Wandike and this is The Real Rundown